We have a bunch of purple grapes in our neighborhood this fall. They're wild grapes, they're pretty sour, but we think we have a use for them involving chemistry. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these purple grapes and we're going to put them in water and uh, grind them up. And we're gonna make a color indicator, uh, uh, acid base indicator out of them. Uh, you see that uh, a lot of purple plants can, are purple because they contain anthocyanins. These are what make these plants purple. Okay, uh, purple lilacs are purple because of it. And purple cabbage is purple because of anthocyanins. And so now we have this ground up uh, pile of grapes here. We're going to take the lid off of it and we're going to pour this grape slop into a variety of different solutions that we have here. Okay. And so first we're going to pour this into a bit of sulfuric acid. Okay, it's an acid. And we can see that uh, if we mix this in a little bit, it goes from sort of a purpley color to a reddish color. Now we're going to pour some into a base potassium hydroxide. And we're going to swirl that in. And you can see that it's turned sort of a blue-green color. Okay, and that's why it turns in a base. Now we're going to move on to vinegar. I'm going to pour this into the vinegar solution. And we swirl that in, and we can see that it has sort of a reddish color, much like the acid was a reddish color, or, or the sulfuric acid was a reddish color, so vinegar is an acid. I'm going to pour a little bit into ammonia solution. A little bit more, there we go. And we swirl that. And we see that it's turned sort of a really dark blue color. Again, indicating that ammonia is a basic solution. Now we're going to pour a little bit into basics, uh, into baking soda. Baking soda is in water already. And we'll put that in there and we'll swirl it around. And we see it turns sort of a bluish color, indicating that baking soda, that sodium hydrogen carbonate, is a base. Now we're going to put just a little bit into uh, tap water, okay? And at least hard tap water around here. That's good. We'll try and see what that does. And we see that it's, eh, it's pretty purple. So the tap water is not, it's a fairly close to neutral. It's actually a little bit on the basic side, but uh, that grape juice is so acidic that it's probably showing up as being acid when we add that much to it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit to, to bleach, chlorine bleach. Okay, now chlorine bleach is a base, and so we pour that in there. And as I swirl it in there, you expect it to turn sort of a blue color because it's uh, a base. But if we look carefully, we see that it's not changing colors. In fact, it's, uh, the, the liquid's neither red, nor purple, nor blue. And what's actually happening here is the bleach is attacking the anthocyanins, anthocyanins and breaking them down and bleaching them out. And so now the solution is colorless. Now there's one last thing I want to do here. Um, you really can't mix these together too much. Okay, never mix anything with bleach. But it dawned on me that I have that baking soda here and that sulfuric acid. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take the baking soda and put it in there. And uh, my assistant here is going to pour the sulfuric acid in. Go ahead, go. And the baking soda and the acid will react to produce carbon dioxide gas.